Good morning, folks. We'll start with the topic we've hit before. Environmental factors, especially man-made factors, may lead to autism and other intellectual disorders. New evidence. If you're too new here to know our man-made poison article on the blog, I've linked it for you today. It touches on GMOs, pharma, and growth hormones. Nova Scotia radiation leak after a shipping and receiving accident. Crews have conflicting readings and are on the scene working now. Just another place to monitor for rats. Let's come to South Africa. We'll try to put a bit more focus on the flooding there the last few days and the moisture drive sees fit to hold in place, unfortunately. If you can't spot the top storm here, you're brand new to the channel. Welcome. New Zealand hoping for a weakening event as the only named storm on Earth right now is on a beeline south. After two days off, we have a strong low returning to Europe. The biggest bit is further north to the frozen shores. You can see the wind power up to Norway, Sweden, and Finland. Two watches in effect here. Alaskan low drawing moisture and heat up the coastline. Another off the east coast ripping major snow levels to eastern Canada today. See that on the humidity overlay. No matter where you look today, you should see two to three days of dropping cosmic rays. It's shown on all the metrics, some more than others. And to what do we owe this reduction in space radiation? The coronal hole stream. While interplanetary shocks and other space weather surround Earth and affect our geomagnetic systems, the charged particles also act as another layer of shielding from the outside, producing a noticeable drop in cosmic rays very often during impacts. The geomagnetic instability from this event is over. Couple M flares, but nothing major. The sunspots have concentrated into smaller complex regions today. The central disk is still the primary analysis. I can't call it a delta at this very second, but her morphing brings it in and out by the hour. Coronal fields changing their tune. Like that. Coronal holes north and south. They do appear to be on their way out now. Folks, the response yesterday dominated me. I had no chance of keeping up with it or the wave of happy emotions from the support. I had to release the Kickstarter project early. Did it last night? You can find the link below this video on observatoryproject.com and the mobile observatory project searched on Kickstarter brings you right here. We have 25 days to make this happen. Pay close attention to your ability to embed the video or the widget along with other sharing capabilities. I know many of you want to help out but donations are impossible with your current situation. That was me when Kickstarter began. I found a project I liked, but I was a broke student. I shared it with some of my older friends and family. They ended up pledging the last 8% she needed in the last hour of her campaign. You think you can't help because you can't donate? You can do as much or more than most just by giving a few minutes of time to share the project. Thank you. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.